I'm still not feeling 100%, but it, like, it's been such a bones day. Guys, I'm awake. I'm putting on some makeup to like make myself feel something other than sick, um, which I still am feeling, but I'm definitely feeling like two points better. Like I'm at a four or five out of 10 rather than a two, which is good. But last night was crazy. Like, so I woke up yesterday, as you saw, with still kind of a fever. And then I thought I was better. And then the second I started trying to get ready for bed, you probably noticed like literally as I'm doing um, the fashion pass stuff, I just was fading so fast. I don't even know. It felt like I was kind of spacing out and I don't know if that was because of a fever or if it was like the mixture of medication. I took some Tylenol, some ibuprofen throughout the day and then like a nasal spray. So I wasn't sure if I maybe messed something up that way, but like truly just not <laughs> present. I tried to fall asleep pretty early, but couldn't do that. So I was like also cold and hot again. Like, I don't even know. I, I was in my own fucking world last night. What I've noticed about whatever I have, my symptoms have like changed completely. I first started with a sore throat and then it progressed to what it is now. And then the fever came and then all of that. The fever is like kind of come and gone, honestly. But yesterday, like I just got like a super dry throat super dry nose, super dry eyes. So I like would steam, drink a lot of water. I gargled some salt water later and like nothing was helping. Literally at my peak like spaciness, I almost felt high. Like I don't know how else to describe it. I was not in my body. I like got up and just like sat in the shower. Like I don't know. <laughs> and I blasted SZA, which I realized I was like so deeply in well yesterday that I didn't even talk about it. So good. I've only done like one full listen through and I already do love a lot of it. Some of it didn't stick out to me as much, but I'm just so happy she's back. Once I figure out which ones are my actual favorites, I'll talk about them. But I love the one with Phoebe, obviously. I loved Gone Girl. I loved, I can't even, I love them all, honestly. That was last night. I had a really hard time sleeping and then I woke up just like covered in like, I guess sweat, but like, didn't feel like sweat. Like, I felt like I was just wet. Like, it wasn't hot either. I don't know. I know this is just like sickness, but I really never get sick like this. So this is something else. But anyways, so now that I'm feeling like a little bit better, I should just take the opportunity to rest and like fully catch up. But all right, my mom just FaceTimed me. Um, she just got to Florida with her friends. So go off queen, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'll sleep when I'm dead. Now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I'm gonna just run some errands. I think I need to first clean out my fridge because, and then I'm gonna go drop my laundry off. As you can tell, I took off all my sheets off my bed. So I live in a walk up. And one that means no elevator. I have to walk up five flights of stairs every day. Two, there's no laundry machine, which means I have to carry down and up my laundry. Luckily, there's a um, laundry service right downstairs that I, I try to drop my stuff off like every three weeks. Um, sometimes I have to do it sooner, sometimes later, depends on the season, but um, I usually drop it off and can pick it up the next day and it usually costs around like 30 bucks, which like is kind of annoying, but ends up being worth it because I really don't have the patience to just sit in a laundromat. And then my sheets, they do charge extra for sheets. So I actually might walk over to my mom's place on the west side and just bring my sheets over because it isn't so much to carry and I figure it'll be cheaper that way. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little walk, get some fresh air. Hopefully that breathes some life into me. I did end up ordering some things on Fashion Pass that I will show you when they arrive. I'll keep it a little surprise. Okay, vlog is exporting. All right, so I just finished editing the vlog. It is exporting so then I can upload it. In the meantime, I'm gonna fold my sheets 
into my full and me just throw them into my little granny cart so I can wheel them across the park. I'm also feeling better, but let's just... That is the lowest it has been this entire time. Seems we're getting better, kids. Okay, outfit check. Um, this is it. With some sweats and my hokas and my little granny bag. Let's go do some laundry. The best accessory of them all is my actual laundry bag. Okay, we're just gonna, yep. Let's go do some laundry. Come on, it's literally the right way. Seriously? Well, like this. I don't see myself ever leaving the city, but how nice it would be to have my own washer and dryer. That's gold. Jen Shaw is just like the most top notch villain ever. I'll switch my laundry over to the dryer and then run to TJ Maxx to see if I can find a Christmas sweater in the meantime. takes at least 30 minutes. There was no line just now, so I think it was fate. This sweater is so ugly. I think it's perfect. Hi, can I have a bowl to go, please? I'll do brown rice. I'll do black beans and then chicken. And then I'll do corn, cheese. Can I also do mild salsa? Brag or anything, but I just arrived and I have one minute left. My timing has just been so good today. Okay, so I'm just getting back from my little outing. I thought I should try on the sweater I just bought. Dude, going into TJ Maxx just now and seeing the like whole section they have of ugly Christmas sweaters just instantly made me nauseous. But yeah, this is the one I went with. I would have preferred to have something a little bit more oversized or long, but I think this should work. Okay, yeah. Slay, slay. I'm gonna finish catching up on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and eat my Chipotle, so. I'm still not feeling 100%, but it, like, it's been such a bones day. Okay, also, in case you were wondering, the secret sauce to any bowl is the salad dressing. Just ask for this when you check out and you will thank me later. Just got home, which means it's time to do the worst task ever. I'm putting on my duvet cover. God damn it. My neighbors can def see me doing this. So this one's a bamboo pillow and I fucking hate it. But it's also the firmest pillow I've got. Get in there. Okay. Boom. So here's the duvet hack. So my lucky ass neighbors getting to see me do all of these acrobatics right now. Oh no. Okay. I'm exhausted. I will fix this in a bit. Okay, like, I have to say this is the sexiest and comfiest my bed has looked in a hot minute aka all good things come to an end but that's because i'm starting to organize my closet it's still a hot mess please don't judge my folding i was just kind of like gathering what i want to do um i have everything organized by color right now but i think i need to go through again tomorrow and really just decide what I don't wear anymore so I can finally donate the bag I have to Goodwill. But yeah. Uh, get 
get rid of these hangers now and continue watching How I Met Your Mother from the beginning. What a terrible show. I love it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here. I don't anticipate doing anything tonight because I'm still recovering, but yeah, here's to hopefully feeling even better tomorrow. If you're still here, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow.